So we'll have a look at this titration question. I'll go through the information and then give you some time to work out your answer. If you need some hints, then keep watching and I'll go through some hints before you tackle the question. So the question, 2.50 grams of potassium hydrogen carbonate, there's its formula, dissolved in distilled water and made up to 250 cm cubed in a volumetric flask. They've then taken 25 cm cubed of that solution and titrated it against nitric acid. And there's the average titra, 20.2 cm cubed of nitric acid required. So from that information, we can calculate the concentration of the nitric acid in moles per decimeter cubed. And we're told that we have to give our answer to three significant figures. And obviously there's the chemical equation for the reaction. So like I said, if you need some hints, keep watching. If not, pause the video, have a go at the calculation, and then I'll go through it. Some hints for you. Calculate the moles of potassium hydrogen carbonate dissolved in the flask. Calculate the concentration of the potassium hydrogen carbonate solution. Calculate the moles of potassium hydrogen carbonate used in the titration. Use the chemical equation to deduce the moles of acid used in the titration. And then from that, calculate the concentration of the nitric acid. So over to you now. Pause the video and then play on for the answers. So the moles of potassium hydrogen carbonate dissolved in the volumetric flask at the start is mass over MR. So you can see we've got this many moles. As a concentration, that's these moles divided by the volume they're in. Remembering the volume must be in decimeters cubed. And so we get this. The moles used in the titration is this concentration times the volume. Remember we used 25 cm cubed, which is that many dm cubed. So we're using this many moles in the titration. Nice easy mole ratio, one to one, and so the moles of nitric acid is the same as the moles of the potassium hydrogen carbonate, so that number repeats. And as a concentration, it's the moles divided by the volume used in the titration. So for the acid, that was, remember, 20.2 cm cubed, which is that many dm cubed. So we're getting a calculated value like this, and to three significant figures, that's 0 0.124.